Hello everyone. In this video, we will practice pull request generator. We will have a web application with a Docker file and a Helm chart, and this web application exists in this repository. And we need to create a dynamic environment on each open pull request and deploy the application using the Helm chart. We have to use a unique namespace per pull request. And we need to deploy it if the pull request has a label of preview. And once the pull request is merged or closed, the deployed application and resources should be deleted. Also, we have to create a CI pipeline that will be triggered on each pull request that will do the below jobs. Build and test the code, build and push a new Docker image into a registry, and update the new image tag in the Helm chart. After that, we label the pull request with our preview label. And we have to achieve creating the dynamic environments using application set and pull request generator. To summarize the requirements using a diagram, we will have a person that will open a pull request and then a CI will be triggered on the pull request and do the build and test the code, building and pushing a new Docker image updating the Helm chart with the new image tag and add a preview label on the PR. And Argo CD application set controller should be watching our repository pull requests. So it will generate an application and deploy the manifest into Kubernetes cluster. Let's begin. I have created the application set manifest with name web app review. In the generators section, I have defined the pull request generator of GitHub provider and set the owner of my account name and the repo that will be used in this example. As per the requirements, we need to create dynamic environments for the PRs that has the label preview. In the template section, the generated application name will be webapp dash the source branch name and the pull request number. These parameters provided by pull request generator. And in the source section, we need to use our repo URL and the target revision will be the head SHA of the pull request. And we need to use this Helm chart in this path. And the Helm chart will be deployed to this destination. The server and the namespace will be web app dash branch name dash pull request number. This way we will create a unique namespace per pull request. Let's deploy this using kubectl. I have created the application set using kubectl. And now the application set controller is watching our repository pull requests. Now for the CI part, I have created a CI that will be triggered on pull request. And we'll do the build and test of the code, building a new Docker image and push it to a registry. And update the tag, the new tag, in the Helm chart in GET. After that, it will add a preview label in the pull request. As you can see in the Argo CD web UI, there are no applications yet deployed. Now let's go and create a new pull request from this login feature branch into main.
Okay, now we will see the actions and we see that a new CI pipeline is triggered. It might take one to two minutes. Now the Docker build and push of the image is done and updating the image tag in help chart also is done. Let's refresh the Docker registry and see the Docker image that is pushed this one with this tag. We can verify that this new tag is updated also in the Helm chart. Yeah, that's correct. The CI pipeline is completed successfully. Also, the preview label is added to our pull request. Now application set controller should generate an application and deploy the Helm chart into our Kubernetes cluster. Let's verify that. A new application is generated by application set controller with the name web app login feature dash the pull request number which is seven. And this will be deployed into this namespace as well. Let's sync the resources and verify it's deployed into our Kubernetes cluster. After finishing the review of this feature, we can merge our pull request. Then this application will be deleted automatically by the application set controller. By this way, we are able to use application set controller with pull request generator to create dynamic environments. That's it for this lecture. See you next.